My name is Ann Crocker. I was born and raised in Livermore Falls, Maine. I had polio way back in 1952, before there was a vaccine available. I had just started kindergarten a couple of weeks when I had the first symptoms of polio. I was literally paralyzed from about here down. No movement whatsoever. It, it was very scary. When somebody said polio when I was a child, it brought fear. They told my family one night that they should go home and rest because it was going to be a bad day tomorrow and there wasn't much chance. But here I am. <laughs> there was a new rehab center called the High Memorial Home in Bath, Maine. I was there for about a year. Extensive physical therapy, often very painful. We were still isolated. Our families could only see us for two hours on a Sunday afternoon. And oh, the first step that I made on the parallel bars you walk along, there's a picture of me taking my first step. I was going to walk on my own. I went for about 20 or 25 years with no canes, no wheelchairs, no braces, nothing. And then I started having problems again. Going through that again, gradually losing everything that you've gained can be very troubling. At some point, I will be totally giving up walking. My children grew up in a family that saw their mother slowly deteriorating. And one of the first vaccinations that my daughter wanted to have for her six children was the polio vaccine. It is very important for people to think seriously because polio isn't a disease that you just get and get over it and you go forward. It's something that comes back to haunt you. We think polio is gone and it is not. There are still about 300,000 people in the United States that are living with the results of having polio. Polio can kill, and there were many people who never survived.